the opening of China's huge domestic consumer market is very much on the agenda of the nation's five-year plan, suggesting growing opportunities for global trade. In this outlook, we speak to Brian Ng, HKTDC's director for the Chinese mainland. Brian, what's your perception of the Chinese domestic market today? Obviously, we hear about foreign brands in China, but are there very many now domestic brands and, of course, Hong Kong brands that we're now looking at in this mix on the Chinese mainland? The China domestic market remain robust, and uh, there are many foreign brands um, enter China, and they keep going into the China market. So for those luxurious brands, they are mostly from Europe or from US or other Western world. That is for those very rich people, they are the main buyers. And uh, for local brands, most of them at lower end or the middle lower end are not very famous outside China. And of course, you know, they have a majority of consumers. But, you know, Hong Kong brands is positioned at the middle upper range. And uh, as the uh, people getting rich, uh, I mean the uh, middle class, the size of the middle class expanding, so there will be a lot of buyers for Hong Kong products. Those selling in the mainland market are mainly uh, fashion, accessories, and also consumer electronic products, gifts, household products, watch, and also jewelry, and uh, food. They are selling quite well in the mainland because of their good quality and at reasonable price. So would that mean that if you mention the name Bossini, for example, which is a Hong Kong brand, then pretty well anywhere you go on the Chinese mainland, anyone you talk to would perhaps know what that meant? Yeah, uh, it's quite popular. This brand is quite popular in different mainland cities. It's mainly selling middle price range fashions, uh, casual wares. And looking at electronic products, because that's one of our major exports, that's important on the Chinese mainland as well. I think those were very good design and with some technology element inside those products, they, they will be selling good in the mainland. Oregon Scientific is selling very well in the mainland. It was sold in our uh, design gallery shop in Beijing and the performance is very good. And th this particular brand would be sort of not right at the top, but somewhere in the middle. Uh, this one is uh, almost to the top, but uh, is classified as the upper middle range because it's not a very luxurious goods, but at affordable price for most of the people. Of course, one can understand that the main cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, these are important. But what about the second and third tier cities? In those uh, first tier cities like Beijing and Shanghai, the competition is very fierce. And the cost is very high. For example, the rent cost, promotion cost, uh, labor cost, etc. It's not very easy you know, to enter market for ordinary Hong Kong goods unless you have a very famous brand already in the world. Otherwise, we encourage Hong Kong companies to enter secondary to, or to third tier cities where there exists a lot of opportunities. HKTDC has uh, mounted these Design Hong Kong shows. These are kind of rolling design shows all over the mainland. How have they been doing over the last year? Those exhibitions are very well received by both the local consumers and Hong Kong companies. And we helped Hong Kong companies to go to secondary market like Chengdu or Harbin, these kind of places. The people there uh, getting rich and the middle class they are expanding very fast and therefore they are looking for products like Hong Kong products that has very good quality, well designed but at a reasonable price. And do you have to look really very locally at what each particular city actually wants because some cities may want clothing, others perhaps food and others still electronics. How do you figure out the kind of mix? In general, you know, they need uh, almost all kinds of consumer products that I just mentioned, from fashion to jewelry watch, and also from household products to uh, gift items and also food products. So this design Hong Kong approach will, will continue into the next year, I presume? Yeah, it will continue. And uh, we are going to organize it in uh, different cities, from first tier to secondary and third tier cities. We'll keep on doing that. In later this year, we'll hold three exhibitions in the three different cities, namely uh, Beijing and Harbin in Heilongjiang, and also uh, Changshan in Jilin. All very useful, I think, for our viewers. Brian, thank you very much.